Hi everyone, today we're going to be making our own mask. I know cards like this are becoming more popular and a lot of companies are selling them where you have a mask that you can just stencil onto the front of the page. But you can do this yourself. Just take out your nesting dies. Today I'm going to be using this one and we're going to need some acetate and we're going to make our own stencils and masks for our cards and you can do them in any size. So let me get this camera turned around and we'll get started. All right, so these are the two that I made as samples when I was figuring out what size of my nesting dies I should use to do this. So I ended up using this flower shaped nesting die and I simply cut it into the acetate and then you end up with the hole the, where you cut it out and you end up with the piece. Don't throw this out, this is good. So this one, I laid it down on top of the white paper and stenciled like I normally would. This one, I taped this down and stenciled the white paper. So yeah, so you can take any of your nesting dies and do this. Just whatever size card you like to make, just pick one out and pick out several if you like it. You could even do it two different ones and do two different colors. Or if you're making a bigger card, you can even put one circle here and one circle down here. There's there's endless possibilities with doing this. So today I'm going to use a rectangle. So I have this set from Crafter's Companion. It's the inverted stitched scalloped rectangle. Any rectangle will do, any circle will work, anything will work. So I am going to use the second one down in the set. So I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm going to center this. I know this is on the acetate. It's probably hard to see. And then we're going to tape it down. And I'm going to run it through my machine. Now, normally with my machine, I don't use the uh, magnetic shim. But when cutting acetate, I do need the magnetic shim. So whatever works for whatever machine you have to cut acetate, use that. So let me run this through my machine. All right, so let's take this off and see what we have. So we have our inside piece. And we have our scalloped edge. So let's put this away. All right, now I pre-cut a couple of panels. And these are gonna be for a five by seven card. And I'm going to do this one in Gina K's lipstick. So I'm going to center it on my paper. We'll tape the one side down. We'll tape the bottom down so it doesn't move on me. Ink this up. And let's see what this looks like. So we're going to do the inside of this one. I think I'm going to do it darker on the outside and lighter on the inside. And I'm just going to go around the inside just a little bit. I think I'm going to leave it like that. All right, so let's peel this up. So now we have a center. And that looks perfectly fine. And you can see the stitching was here, but it didn't come out on there. So that's fine. Either way, it would have been fine. I guess you can see the tiny little bit over here. And this, I'm going to put on this brown paper here. And I'm going to stamp... I'm going to use this Pink and Main set. Let's see here. This one is called Floral Hearts. And I'm going to put, I think this one. I think I'll do this one. I'll make it a thank you card. This says, I appreciate your kindness. 
more than you'll ever know. So this will go in the middle of that. I get my stamping platform. How did I get ink on that? I will fix that later. I think everything needs a thorough cleaning. Pick that up. That looks pretty good. Just one more time. on that L. There we go. That is done. Put this back. So this will go on here. Now let's see. To dress this up a little bit, on this one here, I kind of went around it a little bit. So I think it needs something here on the outside. Give me some gems. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to cut this white piece down a little bit. Right now it is six and a half by four and a half. I'm going to take a quarter of an inch off of each side. Yeah, that looks better. It was just a little bit too big. All right, so now, let's see. All right, so now I'm gonna add some gems to this. And this is the Pink and Main Good Times gems, and I think, let's see, what color? I'm thinking the green. So what I'm going to do, I am going to put a big one and then two small ones in each corner. Oh, that might be a bit much. Yeah, I'm going to use these medium ones. Here, there, Okay, we'll glue this down. All right, we'll let that dry for a moment. Now let's bring in our other paper. Now this one I want to use Gina K's Sweet Mango on it. And this time, instead of using the outside piece, I'm going to use the inside piece. I'm going to tape this down. I'm just going to roll that up. This is just low contact tape. I'm just going to roll up. I'm going to stick this in the middle. Now I'm going to go around this. I 
I don't think I'm going to go all the way to the edge. I think I'm just going to kind of make it kind of a very misty kind of one and just slightly go around the outside here just to take a little bit of the white away. Yeah, I think that's all I want to do. Pull this off, so now we have the opposite. Now for this one, I'm going to show you you can put die cuts on there. So I have this Thinking of You, and this is also from Pink and Maine. This is their, do, 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 was from the Wildflower Kit. And it says Thinking of You. And I'm going to cut a little bit of the tail of this tee off just to make it fit a little bit better. So I'm going to glue this down. Now I'm going to curve this a little bit. That's the thing when you have a die cut like this. It's meant to be straight, but there's nothing saying that you can't curve it. All right. Now we have that. Now kind of like on this one, how I did some freehand sketching, I'm going to do some of that on this one. So I'm going to use an art liner, which is 0.05. And I'm just going to start here in the middle, I'll do some squiggle lines, and then maybe I'll go around the other direction and make some squiggle lines. And we'll put some dots in the corners. Maybe we'll put some dots, maybe a dot here, one here. Put a third one over here. We'll put one here, one here, and one over here. And maybe we'll put some little lines. We want to go this upside down. And yeah, that needs three. I think I will rough this one up. I'm just going to use my edger. There we go. All right, let's see what this looks like. If we want to do anything else to it. You know what? I'm going to... Line this up here. Tape this down. I'm going to see if I can. Go around the edge.
All right, I guess we're going to find out if that was a crazy thing to do or not. Oh, I like that better. I think that looks good. That added to it. And maybe we'll put some dots here in the corner. All right, I like that, like that. Now, let's see. That's good. All right, now let me grab one more panel. I want to show you what I was talking about. All right, so I'm going to bring in another panel here. I wanted to show you what I was talking about. So if you have room, you can put one down here. You can put one on here. So I'm going to go back to the red. And I am going to put a circle up here. Now I'm going to switch over to the orange. I'm going to put a circle over here. And then to make it look a little more even, I think I'll put Part of an orange one over here. And I'll put, let's see, part of a red one over here. And see, so you can take these nesting dies and make any shape so if you used a smaller one you would be able to make more of these and you can absolutely make any kind of background you want using your nesting dies and make your own stencils so yeah let's see let's see i think we'll leave it like that all right so let's see if our panels are dry i think they're dry all that's left here is to put them on a card base. All right, let me see this one. Yeah, I bought this new glue, so I'm still trying it out here. This was one of the first cards I've made with it. And uh, still getting used to it a little bit. I like it. It doesn't wrinkle the paper, but it's really thick, so it doesn't spread out as much as the other glue I was using. So I'm finding I'm going back to do my corners it is much thicker which is not a bad thing it's just getting used to it all right so let me get my card bases now if you wanted to add some flowers or other embellishments to this absolutely this video was more about the technique than it is decorating the card So yeah, so look at your nesting dies, see what you have, cut them out of acetate, and uh, make your own stencils and masks. I think we are just about done. All right, let me flip the camera around. All right, so we're all finished. 
Here is our one card that says thinking of you. And that is using um, the stencil, putting this, the piece on the inside and then stenciling around the outside. And this is using the stencil minus the piece that we cut out. So yeah, you see, there's no waste in this. You end up with two stencils when you cut out one of your nesting dies. And I hope you give it a try. Go look through your stash and see what you have. And uh, yeah, give it a shot. You can use any shape, circles, rectangles, squares, um, flowers, um, pretty much anything. Because you can see from this one, this was a flower shape. And we can do that, or we can do something like this. And it doesn't matter. A2, 5x7, portrait, landscape, doesn't matter. We'll work everywhere. So give it a try. And if you like this, give me a like. And if you want to see my other videos, because I will be having something coming up special in July for Christmas in July, subscribe so you'll get a notification when that comes up. And until next time, stay crafty.